Craig Revel Horwood is said to have dedicated every Annie performance to the late Paul Agrati a week after his death as tributes for the TV legend continue to pour in. Craig Revel Horwood, 58, reportedly paid homage to his late co-star Paul Agrati in an emotional moment during his first show back as Miss Hannigan in Annie the Musical. The Strictly Come Dancing judge had shared the role with Paul, whose death brought the production to a temporary halt. In a touching tribute to the late comedian and TV presenter, Craig dedicated this and every performance to his late co-star last night. Audience member David Jack said, After the final bows, Craig Revel Horwood addressed the audience and said they would like to dedicate this and every performance to the legend Paul O'Grady. There were people in the audience in tears and shouts of, We love you, Paul. Some of the cast looked emotional but the performance under the circumstances was outstanding, especially from the young cast. He went on to reveal Craig was, choking up, as he struggled to contain his emotion during his tribute. The audience member added to Metro.co.uk. You could see him choking up while saying what he did. I think he found it difficult to say anything due to his emotion. Craig has been the latest of a long list of well-known faces to pay their respects to Paul. Whose death was confirmed by his husband, Andre Portasio, via a statement. Alan Carr recounted his recent conversation about life after death with Paul in the wake of his death as he took to Instagram to share a picture with his late friend. He uploaded a picture of himself alongside the comedy veteran using chips as cigarettes, as he penned a lengthy statement reflecting on their friendship. Alan looked back on Paul's anecdotes that would have him, literally in hysterics, as he admitted he will be missed, so much. He also recounted how the pair quipped about life after death and Paul's response after being asked whether he believed he would go to heaven. Alan wrote, I've been no use to anyone today. Loved Paul, who didn't? A true one-off. Having dinner with Paul O'Grady was the closest any of us would get to having dinner with Dorothy Parker or Truman Capote. He would have you literally in hysterics regaling these showbiz anecdotes and quips from Marlene Dietrich to Scylla Black to the Royals to the Disappointer Sisters. It seemed like he knew everyone. Alan went on. He will be missed so much. My friend asked him recently, do you think you'll go to heaven Paul? Quick as a whip he replied, I hope not. I won't know anyone. You legend. 